people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to FNAF News. In today's video, we've got major updates on the second FNAF movie, including filming dates and locations. u is gearing up for another release of Security Breach products, and new information on the Into the Pit game is on the horizon. So that and so much more we're going to be talking about in today's FNAF News video. If you're excited, scroll down, subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with everything regarding FNAF. Since we last spoke here on FNAF News, Valentine's Day has come and gone, and we've got a few companies releasing FNAF themed Valentine's Day cards, including U2's, which released a Cassie and Ruined Roxanne holiday card. We got Popco's Evergreen Valentine's Day cards, which featured Popco's, Blake, Sarah, Saffron, Stone, and Menorah. And then we also had Steelwell Studios release a few Help Wanted 2 and Security Breach themed Valentine's Day cards. One of them featuring the Head Chef bot from Help Wanted 2. Then we also got Ruined Chica and Montgomery Gator. And lastly, we had Matt Bot and of course, everyone's favorite, Roxanne Wolf. But now moving on to merchandise, you may remember in the last video, we talked about Good Smile's upcoming Freddy Fazbear Nindroid figure. Well, I hope you're ready for Freddy because he's available to pre-order right now. They showed off a whole bunch of new looks at the Freddy Fazbear figure, including swappable faces. It's a very dynamic figure as well, so all around I'd say this is probably one of the best FNAF Freddy figures we've ever gotten. If you pre-order him right now, it's going to be shipping out in quarter three of this year. And since Freddy was made so fast and a lot of people really love this figure, I do hope Good Smile makes other Fazbear crew members in the future. But now moving on to U2s, it looks like they're gearing up for another release of FNAF products, though this time it's some pretty unique looking pins. First of all, they showed off a brand new look at their upcoming Gregory and Cassie pin. They're connected via a chain, and it looks like they're calling each other on their walkie-talkies from Ruin. It's a fantastic pin set. We can also look forward to this upcoming pin of DJ Music Man with the tiny little wind-up Music Man on it as well. Once again, this is such a fantastic pin, very unique. But that's not all, because U2s also showed off a pin of Montgomery Gator. This pin features magnetic sunglasses that can be removed to show off Monty's eyes. And then they also showed off a pin of Roxanne Wolf, which has a tail connected via a chain, which allows it to wiggle and wag about. So honestly, some super interesting and unique pins from YouTube. I'm super glad they're getting very creative with their FNAF merchandise. So I'd love to know what are your thoughts on these pins? What other gimmicks do you think they could add to FNAF characters? You're going to be picking these pins up when they release. Merchandise based on the withered animatronics from FNAF 2 has been long, long anticipated from several companies at this point, mainly Funko. Though it looks like U2s is beating them to the punches because they showed off on their TikTok page a first look at their Withered Freddy figure. We do know that the Withered Wave is going to feature four figures, most likely Withered Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. And they're also all set to be released around March, so very, very soon at this point. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on our first look at the Withered figures. And lastly, for U2s, let's talk about their upcoming FNAF movie Wave. Previously, we've seen the Yellow Rabbit William Afton figure. We've seen a figure for Dog, a plushie for Spark Marky the dog and a figure concept for Vanessa, but we also know that Mike, the main character of the film, is also set to get a figure, but we've not seen any concept art or first looks at it, and a fan in the U2's Discord server asked if we could see a teaser of Mike's right hand. But interestingly, Austin from U2's declined because it would, quote, give away the figure. And so, of course, that's led a lot of fans to speculate what exactly is Mike doing in his figure, you know, what's his pose? Some people believe he could be recreating the Josh Hutcherson whistle meme, which would be an interesting choice. Others believe he could be in the Shreddy Faz chair, I believe is the fan name for that device. Others think he could be with Abby, others that he could be holding the taser like we see on Night 5. But it's a very interesting discussion, so I'd love to know what are your hopes to see for Mike's figure. The movie wave is apparently halfway done right now, they're just finishing up some packaging, so we should be getting it probably pretty soon after the Withered's release in March. Also for merchandise, we just got a brand new set of collectible trading FNAF stickers. This is what the packaging looks like, and as you can see, there's a whopping 60 total stickers to collect, ranging from Security Breach to FNAF 4 to the very first FNAF game. A few people have already found these stickers, and it looks like they're already starting off a pretty awesome collection so far. And these stickers are also pretty sweet because, if you couldn't tell, they're holographic. But now let's move on to some Pop Goes Evergreen news, because Kane Carter revealed this brand new teaser of False Freddy, recreating the iconic grand reopening teaser for Five Nights at Freddy's 2 all those years ago. And then we also also got this brand new teaser of False Balloon Boy, once again recreating a classic FNAF teaser. This time, Phantom Balloon Boy's Guess Who teaser for FNAF 3. And in classic FNAF teaser fashion, if you brighten up this image, you can see a few hidden messages. Moving on now to Help Wanted 2, we just got the release date for the title on physical, with the physical disc version of the title being revealed on Smith's Toys website, with a release date of June 30th, 2024. Now, an interesting thing to point out is that on the cover, it does say PlayStation VR 2 compatible, and still will 
Studios has gone on record to state that a flat mode version of Help Wanted 2 will release in the spring. So I think with all those factors, it's pretty safe to say that before June 30th, we should get a flat mode version of Help Wanted 2. But speaking of FNAF titles, let's talk about the upcoming Into the Pit game. Because last month in January, we got a whole bunch of info on this title leak, some of which I still got to talk about in a video. Luckily, however, after all the leaks, Mega Cat Studios, the developers for the game, as well as Scott Cawthon, both publicly announced the title, set for release date around the 10th anniversary of FNAF. So it's likely we're going to be getting the title sometime around August, or just in general, the middle of the year. And just the other day, Mega Cat Studios added the Into the Pit title to their featured page on their website. And if you click on the games on that page, it'll take you to their own separate page with links to their store pages, descriptions, teasers, trailers, a whole bunch of info on the games in general. However, interestingly enough, the Into the Pit title is not clickable just yet. Since Mega Cat Studios did go out of their way to feature the Into the Pit thumbnail on their website, I'd assume pretty soon we are going to be getting its own separate page. I'd assume the page would feature those leaked screenshots and trailers that went out last month. There was a leaked description as well that I'd assume would go on there, but most importantly, I'd assume a link to the Steam page would also be provided on that page. Likely allowing fans to wishlist the title before it releases again later on in the year. But basically, this segment boils down to stay tuned because it looks like more info on Into the Pit is coming pretty soon. And lastly, for this news video, let's talk about the FNAF movie. First off, on August the 20th, we were set to get the art and making of the FNAF movie. This book would provide an inside look at the filmmaking process from animatronic designs to prototypes to behind-the-scenes photographs, as well as storyboards with close looks at designs for costumes, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, and more. However, just recently, fans noticed that the book had been indefinitely delayed. On select online booksellers, its status was updated from forthcoming to withdrawn from sale. And then earlier today, Scholastic removed the book from their AFK website. So with all these delays and removal of the listing for the book, a lot of fans are just assuming that the book is outright cancelled. Which is incredibly unfortunate because I know myself and a lot of other FNAF fans were really looking forward to this book. We have seen concept art for the film be released in the past and that drew up a lot of hype and anticipation for this release. But as it stands right now, it doesn't look like there's a future for this book, which again, just freaking sucks, man. Luckily though, we do have some good FNAF movie news and that is the incredibly major updates regarding the sequel to the FNAF movie, with a production list being released the other day that Five Nights at Freddy's 2, the feature film, is set to begin filming in New Orleans on the very 1st of July of this year. It is worth noting, however, that it seems like the script for the FNAF 2 movie is not yet finished. I'm hoping at that point they're gonna have time before the start of July to finish up and polish that script. If you remember, Scott Cawthon was very keen on taking feedback from the first film and applying that to the script for the second movie, going as far as to rewrite portions of the script for this second adaptation. But July is only three to four months away. Like, we are incredibly close to the start of filming for FNAF 2. At any point now, I'm sure we're going to start seeing casting calls for extras and other roles in the film. We have gotten reports that actors like Matthew Lillard, Piper Rubio, are both set to return. I'd assume Josh Hutcherson's returning as well. And reportedly, Elizabeth Lale, who plays Vanessa, is also set to return. So it looks like we're going to be getting the main cast back. So like I said, any week now, we could get our first look at the set for FNAF 2 or even the animatronics for FNAF 2. That's going to be very exciting. And subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on those first looks at the FNAF 2 movie. But that is going to do it for this FNAF news video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.